dude I, dude the thing with the gambling side is like so i was watching the xqc stuff and the train wrecks and it's like if some of their gambling sessions are they're down fucking horribly you know like if you look at it it's like how is this like how do people even believe any of this could even be real because it's like they're literally putting like thousands of dollars per spin and if you ever watch a gambling stream they just like they let that shit run auto you know what i mean like it just they don't have to click it anymore they just sit back and it's like you go 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 and i'm like and literally in a matter of like 20 seconds they can gamble six thousand dollars away six grand can be pissed away in less than 30 seconds it's absurd a very fucking absurd and then they win like these crazy jackpots which like how real are they you know to be honest with you and then it gets pissed right away you could see somebody win five million dollars and then the next hour be down five million again like you could literally have generational wealth and be gone with it you know that's but that, that that's that's the wildest shit i've ever seen with the whole gambling side and there's no doubt in my mind that when people watch this kind of stuff, right? Like no shit that it sparks some level of an addiction, you know, like some people are, there's obviously like, cause the thing with the slot machines, right? Like you can't tell me somebody isn't thinking about it. And it's like, you know, maybe if I tried my hand at it, no matter how many times a person says I'm going to lose, maybe I could have the $5 million jackpot. And I'm like, you never will. It'll never fucking happen, dude. Like, maybe. Yeah, maybe exactly it's like the game of chance right like fucking maybe you could have it but it's like if that's what if that's how the world worked boys let's i'd be i'd be in vegas every fucking night just <laughs> making life-changing money but that's not how it works mm -hmm. my so, favorite gambling is crypto oh thanks Caleb. thanks <laughs> Thanks for the contribution to the conversation. <laughs> what what what's your favorite crypto to gamble in, my friend? Uh, Bitcoin. Oh. Well, how much money did you lose in it or gain? Sorry. Uh, let's see. Yeah, both. Zero. Uh, how much did I lose? No, 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 no. Zero implies that it was a neutral. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, he gained. He didn't gain anything. anything. Yeah. Yeah. I I made a quarter of a million dollars and then now I've lost thirty grand total. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, bro. Totally. I don't give a fuck, bro. I, I literally invested all that money and it was like, yeah, I don't really care. If it goes what away, about, it goes away. You know, with the amount of money you just spent, you could have bought like those bored ape ones. You could have bought those fucking monkey pictures. Oh, yeah, I could have. <laughs> I would have loved to do that. Yeah, those monkeys. You could have bought the gotten a like, high quality filter to actually filter your piss. Like, with yeah, no, I would rather, money. I would rather, uh, I would have rather bought um, a gun. And then shot myself in the foot. Cool. <laughs> cool. Shot myself yeah. in the head. <laughs> he was, he was yeah. like, where is this going? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was thinking IED, and I was like, that'll get me banned from YouTube. And then I was like, I can't shoot myself in the head because that'll get me banned I, from YouTube. I think shooting yourself in the foot will get you a community guideline strike. I'm just I would rather take a car, drive it at high speeds. And crash into a tree. You know, you're literally sounding like the entire subreddit for the crypto board when they crash. <laughs> They're like, you know, guys, maybe, maybe jumping off the build, maybe it doesn't sound like a bad. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. dude, jumping off the building is not so bad. It's the landing. Ledge, my friend. No, they, dude, the the fucking so when this whole market fucking died out and it was so insane, like because nowadays we're getting to the point where people are buying like virtual land for thousands of dollars. Absurd. So it's like, you know, dude, I feel guilty when I buy like a video game for sixty bucks from time to time. I'm like, shit, man. That is a lot of money. I'm spending like 60 bucks on this crap tastic game. I'm going to play for 20 minutes max. And then you got motherfuckers who are like, monkey image, great investment. Let me do it. You know what, guys? Yeah. Let me buy land in the metaverse, you know? Like, there are motherfuckers who go onto Facebook, okay? And I think going onto Facebook is a cardinal sin. Like, it just shows you that you're not going to be the human being. You know, people peep, like you're just you're dipshit. Okay, like, God bless your heart and everything. Facebook is a hellhole. You go I mean, that Facebook is a huge now, NPC energy at this point. Yeah, fa Facebook yeah. is huge. Dude, Facebook is where they believe in the weasel like timeline. Like, <laughs> we actively joked about the weasel timeline. There are motherfuckers on Facebook that'll take snippets out of this podcast and be like, you see that, guys? You see that? They even believe. It's, These it's jokes wouldn't now. be made in the Jackrabbit timeline. Yeah, <laughs> right? Like, True. Like that, that's, and then you go onto there and like people are fucking, you know, putting on their Facebook headsets or little meta goggles and they're joining in the metaverse buying fucking land now in, in virtual Habba Hotel shit. All right, like this is the wildest thing too to me. It's like you're buying virtual land. Like I remember back in the day, like growing up, and we all grew up in those. Like we all know that we always had like Second Life and all this crap. 
but now it's like the companies want to shill that out like it's a brand new project like you guys can buy a mansion in the metaverse and then i have to remind people i'm like wait a minute you know what mark wants you to do he wants you to put your fucking monkey pictures in your virtual mansion while you're (laughs) living in your real life crack them like what the fuck us real ones know that you make a secret base in pokemon emerald and you put like a chair yeah. in that little room. That's the what it's OG all about. Metaverse. The OG metaverse. <laughs> Those are the days. Yeah. So, Dude, Smollett, like, I... earlier you um uh... oh sorry. Let no, go, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna make a skid row reference, but go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I wanna hear. <laughs> Well, no, I was just going to say, it's like the metaverse is kind of like if you lived on Skid Row. Like, have you ever got, have you ever driven by Skid Row, Los Angeles? I haven't. Okay, so Skid Row, I was Los LA Angeles. once and I stayed away from that area. Skid Row, Los Angeles is so fucking, I routed through it. So Skid Row effectively is like the city of Los Angeles giving up on the homeless, you know? It's like, all right, boys, it's, it's critical mass, you know what I mean? Like, this is fucking, this is like, it basically made a Jurassic World for homeless people out in Los Angeles. Not even fucking kidding with you. If you don't believe me, look up Skid Row on Google Maps. It's the only part of Los Angeles City that's like labeled red. Like it's a fucking red zone. Right, like you gotta the keep city, the, British the city away from has that given area. up. The city has given up on that area. So, anyways, I drove through it, and like you know, aside from the putrid smell of feces, I'm like, this is what Mark wants. He wants you to live out on the streets like this with the headset on living in your fucking virtual mansion while your real life looks like that. That's what it was, right? That's where the, you know, <laughs> Skid Rose, but, but go back to it. Mike. <laughs>